we've been following the work that the Digital Transformation Agency have been doing for quite some time. So we're trying to align our work to the way that they've been working. So hooking into the Twitter feeds, hooking into the blogs, that's where we came up against it. And I think we just came across it by chance in the first week it was launched and thought, this is kind of cool. And it was, the timing was perfect for us because we were about to go to market and I didn't want to go through the same procurement process that we've been through in the past. I think the brief on the marketplace took about 20 to 25 minutes. So I was pretty happy when I got to the end and thought, is that it? Yeah, there must be more. <laughs> yeah, but no, that was it. It was pretty good. So the developer we had on the digital marketplace was excellent. They've just finished their time working with us. They've been here for a couple of weeks. Um, we're keen to get someone of that caliber in again because they really helped us to to lift uh, the work that we were doing. Well, we're a fairly new team and we've got a fairly uh, junior developer, I'm sure you won't mind me saying that. So to bring in that expertise uh, at, at the push of a button, have that come to us, was just fantastic to be able to help us lift out the quality of our product. The benefit for us was even if we do have to bring in our own procurement policy, not, not, not to, but we had to at the time, it still gave us access to the vendors in one single spot where we could just go and see, well, here's all the players. The menu and the search function was really easy. The filtering was brilliant. And it was, I felt like it was designed for people working in the digital space. The simplicity of the language was a real strong point for my experience with the marketplace, not having the RFQs and the ROIs and the tenders. I'm just someone who needs a solution to my problem and anyone who can help me connect with people who can provide that solution, I'm really happy with it. And if it's in plain English, all the better.